In this question, we have to show which of these clocks, and these are analog clocks, shows 10 minutes past 5 o'clock. Well, to help us, let's bring in an analog clock face. And you'll notice that this clock face here has no hands. We'll draw the hands in a second. But first, let's determine what each of these little marks here, these little ticks, means in the clock face. Well, if we start at 12, each of these little ticks here represents one minute. So to go from 12 to 1, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 minutes. So the 1 actually here is 5 minutes past 12. And if we kept going, after the 1, we'd have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 more minutes. So the 2 represents 10 minutes past 12. And if we kept going counting the minutes, the 3 would be 15 minutes past 12, the 4 would be 20, the 5 would be 25, the 6 would be 30 minutes past 12, the 7 would be 35 minutes past 12, the 8 would be 40 minutes past, the 9 would be 45 minutes past, the 10 would be 50 minutes past, and the 11 would be 55 minutes past, and when we got back to 12, that would represent 60 minutes. Okay, so let me just clean this up a little bit. I'll get rid of the yellow bits. So what the green numbers represent is the minutes in an hour. So if we want to represent 10 minutes past any hour, we do so with what's called the long hand, which is like a long arrow, which you can see here in these examples here. So let me draw a long arrow, and I'll make it green to represent the minutes. Okay, I'll move the minute hand, or the long arrow, into my clock face, and I can move it anywhere here to represent uh, around the middle to represent the minutes. Well, we want 10 minutes past, so what we do is we point the arrow to the 10 minute past mark, which is the number 2. Okay, so next we have to represent the hours, which in our case is 5 o'clock. Well, the hours are represented by the numbers inside our clock face, the big numbers, the bold numbers. So this would be 7 hours, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, etc. And hours are represented by a short arrow called the hour hand. And you can see here's the hour hand in each of our examples. So I'll draw a short hour hand, and I'll make it black. And because we want 5 o'clock, I'll take the hour hand, I'll move it into my clock face, and then I'll put it at the center and rotate it until it points to the number 5. Like so. Now I'm pointing it a little bit past the number 5 because it's 10 minutes past 5, so the arrow would have probably gone a little bit past the number 5. So there we go. This example here represents 10 minutes, the minute hand, past 5, the hour hand. And if we take a look at our options that were given, we can see that it's the second option here, this one right here, that matches our clock. And so this represents 10 minutes past 5.